Every year an estimated 2.5 billion tons of food goes to waste globally, accounting for around 10% of global greenhouse gas emissions. This wasted food takes an area of land roughly the size of China and India combined, to grow. Nowhere in our food supply chain is the amount of waste greater and more damaging than in the industrial production of meat. It is estimated that a staggering 153 million tons of meat are wasted at the farm level every year. Coupled with horrifically high livestock mortality rates caused by poor standards of animal husbandry, among other factors, this waste represents not only a moral catastrophe but an environmental disaster. And this is only one part of the problem. Currently, more than one-third of the calories produced by the world's crops are being used for animal feed, and only 12% of those feed calories ultimately contribute to the human diet, as meat and other animal products. Producing one kilogram of beef, for example, requires roughly eight kilograms of feed. With such low returns, does it still make sense for humanity to invest in livestock production? The livestock industry gobbles up resources, degrades the environment and still fails to provide us with adequate nutrition. Research has estimated that 400 million hectares of cropland produce feed for livestock in a way that competes with food crop production. Essentially, we are using large amounts of land to feed livestock that could be used to feed humans. It is estimated that growing crops only for human use could boost available food calories by up to 70%, serving an additional 4 billion people. In other words, there is ample evidence that transitioning to plant-rich diets can help improve equitable food distribution and nutrition security. If food production should aim to deliver maximum nutritional output with minimal environmental impact, then industrial livestock should have no place in any future food systems. The livestock industry is vast, there are 23 billion chickens, 1.5 billion head of cattle, 1.2 billion sheep, 1 billion goats and 1 billion pigs living on factories and farms worldwide. This means that humans and the animals we grow for food account for 96% of the mammal biomass, with wildlife accounting for only 